Hello and welcome to In Your Element TV. My name is Liliana Martins and today I am here to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, the energies of divine masculine and divine feminine. Now, why make such a distinction between the divine masculine and the divine feminine? Because us as human beings, we have a tendency, and I speak for myself, to actually see the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy as an external. They, we see them as external energies to ourselves when actually we all have them within. Although we have this knowledge, we tend to still act and react as an external. So today we will look uh, briefly at these energies because here at In Your Element TV we will be talking about this subject in this series and we will be looking at the different archetypes and also at the different interactions that will happen or with examples that happens in your life, in your daily life because we divide the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine into wounded or healed. And we will be looking and focusing more on the wounded energy because it's with is being aware of the wounded energy that you can actually take action to heal. On that note, talking about taking action, let's say what is the divine masculine energy? What are the um, archetypes? What is the archetype of a, a divine masculine? The divine masculine normally it's about action. It's about doing, it's about going, it's about protection, safety, and also it's about, it's an external energy. So it happens more from the inside to the outside. Now, the divine feminine energy is more about caring, nurturing, communication, and it's more an internal energy. So it's more the going within. So when you are in your wounded self, and you are actually experiencing some, um, the wounded side of these, either of these energies, on the divine masculine side, you have, for example, someone who is having, let's say, an argument with a partner, and he decides to take it very personally, and then what is a typical reaction would be feeling lack of control, and then suddenly they want to take control, so they will become really uh, proud or very stiff, and then kind of cut communication uh, and physically kind of withdraw themselves from the scene because they need to go inside and understand without having the physical, it's a physical action, so for the divine masculine. Now, in, on the other hand, if there is a divine feminine there that is wounded to, this divine feminine can take two, um, for example, can take two ways of expression because the divine feminine energy is all about expression and it's all about the throat chakra so it's more about talking expressing through words yet a wounded divine feminine would show up probably in a very very punishing way so this energy wants to punish the other and it wants to basically um, it, it, almost like being cruel it wants to inflict the, the pain that is feeling inside wants to bring it outside and actually inflict it on the object of her attention or her attention. So um, that's just an example for you to think about because here at In Your Element TV we're going to be bringing to you solutions, we're going to be bringing to you ideas and also uh, showing you scenarios on your daily life that will make you be aware of the wounded self of these two sides of yourself or the people that you are interacting with. So stay tuned and I would say visit our website and also if you have any suggestions, any comments or feedback, please leave them on the comments box and remember to join us on all our social media platforms. So remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. For now, goodbye.